These are the world's very first power units using China's one-on-one -on -one technology with the newest safety measures. In 2015, I witnessed its inception, and in January 2021, I reported its first commercial operation. So how is the advanced third-generation reactor working now? Follow me. This is the main control room of this power unit, and the staff here are busy working. These people's job is as sensitive as pilots or astronauts, for only very few could sit here after years of strict training and working. They say the unit has completed the very first phase of its commercial operation, and they are pursuing excellence in its operational safety to meet the future assessment by the World Association of Nuclear Operators, known as MONO. The main daily duties of our operators include conducting periodic tests, switching between devices as well as maintenance. This is to ensure the safe and reliable operation of the power unit. To avoid potential accidents like what happened to the second generation unit of the Fukushima power plant, this unit adopts not only active but passive safety measures. Its designer says the unit's double-layer shell can withstand a magnitude 9.0 earthquake and even an air crash. The staff working here also need to be specially trained. Our technical operation guidelines are complete, covering normal operation, malfunctions and accidents. Now we focus more on our operators and their code of conduct. The unit is expected to produce electricity for at least 1 million people annually. And that is not all. From this side of the Fujin power plant, we can see there is a seawater monitoring station as well as the wind power generators in the distance, which means they want to use new energies to reduce the carbon emission. At a time of global energy shortages, more countries and regions are choosing nuclear power as a green and sustainable form of energy. The operators here say each one-on-one -on -one power unit can cut carbon emissions by more than 8 million tons per year and could help countries realize the carbon neutrality goals.